Hey Twinklers, welcome back to my channel. Hey beautiful Disney friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome to a very, very, very fun unboxing. Today's unboxing is like one I've been excited for for so long. This is something I've actually wanted to do with you guys for the past few months and I was finally able to organize it so I was able to do this with you guys. So you guys know how much I love Bibbidi Bobbidi boxes. Definitely my favorite subscription that there is out there. And I've tried a few different of the levels of Bibbidi Bobbidi boxes. I am subscribed to the Wishes box, so you get anywhere between, I think it's something like, you know, one to five items depending on the price. And I want to do something even more special. So, first, here is my normal Wishes Bibbidi Bobbidi Boxes box. Absolutely in love with it. And I thought about maybe doing another one, so comparing some of the levels, but I got an even better idea. And I decided to open the Wizard Vault box as well. Yes, I am an absolute Potter fan as well. And I really wanted to try this one out for the past little while. I've seen a few of my friends open this, Becca and Kate have both opened this and I just think it is the coolest thing ever. So I thought, well, hey, let's try it out. And I already have my regular wishes box. So why don't I just open the both of them together? I thought, yeah, like great idea. Let's do it. So this is the Wizard Vault box. So Bibbidi Bobbidi Boxes does have a few options. They have their normal Disney subscription boxes. They also have Harry Potter subscription boxes. So there are currently two levels for Harry Potter. It's the regular Wizard Vault or there is also the Silver Wizard box, which is the one that I get. So it just has a few less items. So it's almost like, you know, uh, a deluxe and just a regular. So this would be just the regular box. And they also have their Fandom Unite box where you can get a bunch of different fandoms um, all together. So I think it's really cool. They have a bunch of different options. So if you guys are interested in Bibbidi Bobbidi boxes for their Disney, for their Harry Potter, or if there's a few other fandoms that you are into, go and check them out because there's probably a subscription box there that's within your budget and you're going to love it. Okay, so I have the two boxes here. I don't know where I should start, to be completely honest with you. I'm like super excited to dive into the Wizard Vault one because I haven't opened it at all. Um, so I want to see what's in here. But this one's feeling kind of heavy and I want to see what that is. So I don't know what to do here. I'm kind of stuck. But I think let's go with Bibbidi Bobbidi Boxes Disney first. So let's do this one first. Like I said, I have the Wishes box, so it comes between one to five items on the inside, depending on the value. Could be more, could be less. Let's open it up and see what's in here. Opening it up, this is what I am seeing and I'm loving it. So on the front it says, she knows if you've been scary or nice. Happy holiday season from the team here at BBB, Amanda, Becky, and Brenda. Thank you, ladies. You ladies are the most awesome. Um, I absolutely love all the ladies. They are so great. Anytime I have any concerns, I message them. They get back to me really quickly, and they're always so nice, so friendly. I love whenever they do live feeds because they're just, they really are the sweetest, sweetest ladies. Packing slip, not going to look at it, but look at this picture. Oh my gosh, that is so so cute, Mike and Sully. I love that he is wrapped up. All like little Christmas package, really cute. And I like the way that they're drawn out. They're drawn like very, very cute, very cartoony as opposed to um, pixelated, Pixar, pixelated. Anyways, they're drawn out really, really cute. Here is what I am seeing. And they have these cute little like confetti pieces. I saw an acorn. This one is a leaf. And I love this green tissue paper. It's feeling really full, you guys. I don't know what's in here, but I think I'm going to like it. Oh my gosh. Maybe I should have opened the wizard belt box first because this is amazing. This might be the best 
box I've ever got from them. Okay, so there's only a few items in here, and I'm going to save this one for last, and I'm going to see what this is. I can see, okay, I can see what two of the items are, and I'm like pooping my pants right now. Like, amazing, amazing. Oh my gosh, I can't get into this. I'm so excited, excited I need to like rip into this right now. Oh my gosh, okay, this is so stinking cute. So it is an ornament and it's a tiki bird ornament. Oh my gosh, I absolutely love this. This is also, this is a Disney Park um, exclusive item. Always oh, so cute. I love Tiki Room. It is my favorite att attraction at any of the parks. I absolutely love it. And I really like how they did this ornament. It's not like too cartoony or cheesy. I think it is just so sweet. I love how he's sitting on his little perch with his little Santa hat. Oh my goodness, this is so adorable. This is just, this is, this box right now, you guys, I can't even explain it to you. I just cannot. Okay, next thing in here, I do not have any of these and I've wanted one for a really long time. And I am so very excited. It's a Lily and Co. bracelet. Oh my gosh. Some girls get all excited for diamonds and gems. Give me a Lily and Co. box and I am happier than any of them. All right, let's open it up and see what special trinket there is in here. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. What's it say? Guys! Dig a little deeper. I think my heart just exploded. Oh my gosh. That is from Princess and the Frog. Oh my gosh. Like one of my favorite movies. Absolutely. I love Tiana. She's one of my favorite princesses. And Tiana and Naveen are like my favorite couple. Naveen is like, Naveen's my prince. So this is so cute, oh my gosh. This is bad because now I want more of these bracelets but I am totally in love with this one. Oh, it's so perfect for me. I don't know if I've seen this one before actually. I've seen, you know, a lot of them but I didn't know, don't know if I've seen the dig a little deeper one so that is so cute. And just a little reminder, we gotta, we gotta all dig a little deeper. Okay, now, if that was not enough for this amazing freaking box, this just does it. This does it for me. I am, ugh, you'll see. Guys, it is a Disney Loungefly bag, and we know how much I already love Disney Loungefly bags. I've literally been looking at this one. I saw it on their website a few weeks ago, and I was like, oh my gosh, it's so cute. I was so excited to get it, or not get it, like I was so excited to see it, and like I wanted to get it. And okay, first of all, here we go. Donald, Donald on this side looking super snazzy. It, it's enough right here. But, but, when you turn it around, hello, it's Daisy! Oh my gosh! Daisy is my favorite Disney character. I absolutely love Daisy and Donald, and this is so cool and cute and just like the most adorable idea and what I really like about this bag is you can wear it like three different ways so first off you could just carry it along like this just like a little clutch bag they also have two straps so the way they have it set up right now is you could actually wear it like a backpack if you undo this and it comes right out and you wear it like a backpack or you can just wear it over and you can totally just wear it over your shoulder or as a crossbody so I like the diversity in this as well but oh my gosh this is like there's cardboard all over the place this is like amazing amazing I know how much this was this is like 
This is definitely a great box, you guys. Okay, so on to the packing slip for this one. So, oh my gosh, this is crazy, you guys. Um, Lily and Co. Um, Rose Gold Dig a Little Deeper Bangle, $32. Disney Parks exclusive Tiki Room Ornament, $24.99. Loungefly Disney Donald Daisy Reversible Mini Backpack, $75. Dollars, giving this a total retail value of one hundred and thirty-one dollars and ninety-nine cents, and I paid forty-nine ninety-nine for this box. What? Okay, totally, absolutely blown a freaking way. Best BBB box ever, for sure. I could like be done right here. But we're not. We have one more box to open. I'm so stinking excited. So it is the Wizard Vault box. And again, packaging on here on point. Really loving it. I am a big Harry Potter fan. I'm actually sitting in front of my Harry Potter shelves right here. So whatever goodies are in here are probably going to end up over here. Very excited about it. Um, and I think it's kind of the same type of premise because this is the silver box you get anywhere between, I think it's one to maybe four items depending on the value. I'm thinking it's going to be great. Opening it up and here we have it. Let's look at this. Packing slip, not going to look at this until the end. Make that disappear. Wizard Vault box, open it up. Ooh, what am I seeing on top already? Okay. Right on top, I am seeing, oh yes, so freaking cool. Um, adjustable. Oh, maybe the back is adjustable, that's what I mean. Oh, adjustable, I was thinking reversible. Oh my gosh, I'm tired. So right on top is this Hufflepuff hat. I am a Hufflepuff. Actually, I think almost all of us in the household are Hufflepuffs. I am a Hufflepuff. I really like this. I actually don't have any Harry Potter hats, so that is so freaking cool. I love this gray as well. Really, really awesome. This is a nice, comfy, cozy hat. I also think that this is like a sweat hat, just feeling the material. So it's like a sweat material, so if you start sweating, it pulls it out, which is really awesome, because let's face it, our heads get really sweaty and gross. So if you can keep the sweat off my head, awesome. <laughs> but besides that, this is honestly just a really cool little Disney, or not Disney, Harry Potter hat. Oh my gosh, there's so many goodies in here as well. Okay, what's, oh my gosh, that's so cool. Gonna save that for last too. Oh my gosh, so exciting. Okay, next thing I am pulling out is a Harry Potter wand pen. Oh my gosh, how cute is this? Okay, so stinking adorable. So we have, whose wand are you? You're not, um, Ron's? It might be Ron's maybe. That's, is it Ron's? I'm thinking it's Ron's. I could totally be wrong, but, wrong, but I'm thinking this is Ron's wand. Or is it Harry's wand? Oh, maybe it's Harry's wand. Okay, it is a wand. It is a wand pen. And this is honestly really freaking cool. First off, I love pens. I have a huge collection of pens and I really, really do like them. I do not have any pens, pens that are like a wand. I have a few Harry Potter pens, but no wand pens. I feel like I said pens a lot there, but this is really, really cool. I'll feel super magical writing down all my scripts and all my notes, and I'll just be like sitting here like casting spells. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. I really like this. It's a good size pen. It's kind of heavy. If I was going to just use it out of wand, it'd be a great, great weight for a wand. Um, really cool. Oh, this is so awesome.
Next item in here, I'm going to take this out of the packaging so you guys can see it a bit better. It is something I actually have quite a few of as you can see. It is actually some pins. So it is some Hufflepuff pins. So right on top we have the little badger and he's got the nice little yellow diamond in his little butt right there. Over here we have the H and it says Hufflepuff on it. And down here we have the official Hufflepuff seal. Really, really cool. I love that it is three pins in one. I do actually really want to do a Harry Potter pin board. Um, so that could be something I'm going to do in the future as well because I do have like a good number of Harry Potter pins. So this is really, really cool that I can add that to my collection. I haven't been to Universal in forever, so I actually haven't picked up any of the pins from the parks. Um, so this is really, really cool. I really like this. They have a really good pin collection there as well. And it's probably a good thing that I haven't been to the parks because I would probably go a little pin crazy there too. last thing I am opening is again a bag and I am so freaking excited. I have seen a few of my friends get this and I was like, yes, please, I hope I get it. And I did. It's a Honey Dukes bag. So this is kind of like a makeup bag and it's so freaking cute. I love Honey Dukes. I love anything to do with Honey Dukes. The aesthetic of it is so, so stinking cute. So it's actually like a bag inside of a bag. So when you take it out, it is clear. You can see right through it. And then you have an additional bag here and it's so cool. Like this is such a cute little bag. So it has like a lot of the lollies and the candies and the chocolate frogs and um, some of the bugs. Like this is so, so cute. And it's just a good little size. There's nothing in here, just some paper, um, lots of paper. So it is a good size. So you could totally use this as a makeup bag. You could use it as something else. I probably won't use it as a makeup bag because it is really cute. And as soon as you start putting makeup in it, you're going to just ruin it. And I mean, it is actually a lounge fly bag. So they're not exactly cheap either. So this is totally cool. Oh my gosh. I just got freaking like, I'm, I, I'm at a loss for words. I'm so so excited right now. Alohamora. Boom. There we go. Look at it. I'm super magical. All right, on to the uh, packing slip. So the Harry Potter Honey Dukes cosmetic bag, two piece, thirty dollars. Just crazy. I would think that that won't be a little more than that. Um, Harry Potter gray Hufflepuff hat, $19.99. Hufflepuff, Hufflepuff house pride enamel pin set, $10. Harry Potter wand pen, so it was Harry's wand. It does say right here, Harry Potter. Uh, so that was $9.99, giving us a total value of $69.98. And again, I believe I paid $49.99 for this box. All right, switch it up here, put my hat on here for a second. Um, let me know what your favorite item out of this box was. Um, really, I, I can't pick. There were so many things that were great. Both bags were amazing. The Daisy Donald was awesome. The Honey Deuce one, I honestly love that one. I've been looking at it for a while. Um, hello, Lily and Cole bracelet, yes. Um, the Tiki Bird ornament was great. The pen was great. I really do like this hat. It's actually a super, super comfy hat. I really like it. So I really cannot choose. You guys definitely let me know down below what you think your favorite thing out of this box was. Great big thank you to all the ladies over at BBB for being so absolutely awesome. I absolutely love them. Customer service is always so great with them. Definitely go check them out if you have not already. Okay, so there it is. There are my two boxes that I just opened for you guys. Totally in love with them both. Oh my gosh, now this is gonna be hard. Like I think I wanna just keep getting both of these boxes because I just love them both so much. And it's like, there's just, there's not enough space. There's not enough money. I don't need it all, but I want it all. It's not a good thing, but I love it. All right, my beautiful friends, that does it for me today. No matter what you guys are doing, I hope you're having an absolutely magical day and I will talk to you all real soon. 
Bye.